So the first question we ask is, why quantum computers? Why would we want to use a quantum computer to solve a computing problem? Why quantum computers? And the answer is, quantum computers provide vast amounts of computing power over classical computers. Quantum computers are able to solve certain types of computing problems much faster than a classical computer. Where it might take a classical computer hundreds of years to solve a problem, it might take a quantum computer only a matter of seconds. So, computing power. The next question is, what areas require this type of computing power? What areas would quantum computers be appropriate to be used in? Um, areas that where very, very complex problems are being solved. An example is virology, which is a very current topic in 2021. Understanding how viruses attack cells and understanding how the proteins which are involved in fighting off the virus attacks function. And we need to understand the protein mapping and protein folding in order to develop vaccines. So uh, what areas? First is virology. or protein mapping. Another area uh, where quantum computers could excel in is cryptography, or the ability to develop keys that cannot be broken. Cryptography. So cryptography, um, you can look at it from both sides, either the ability to develop keys that are unbreakable or the ability to break keys which were previously unbreakable. Another area would be finance or understanding uh, stock movements and how uh, certain financial instruments behave within a complex financial market. So finance... And another big area which is expected to excel in, in the use of quantum computing is climate science. Another very current topic in 2021, climate science or understanding how micro meteorological systems, weather, weather systems on a small scale interact in a global way to form the global climate um, and this is a, a huge problem uh, on the earth right now because weather patterns are changing. We're seeing a general warming of the earth. So with warming comes extreme winds, comes extreme storms, comes uh, changes in microclimates. Some areas are becoming too humid and animals are dying from uh, fungus other areas are becoming too dry and uh, agriculture and uh, the wildlife is suffering because it's become arid. Um, so climate science is an important area for the future. And it's an, it's an area that I'm very interested in. I have a background in uh, science and um, I'm very interested in the use of computer science in solving climate problems. Now, in order, in order to uh, use quantum computers, you don't necessarily have to be a math genius. It requires fairly basic to intermediate mathematical skills.
So what, what areas of math do you need to be familiar with in order to be able to perform quantum computations? So what are the math prerequisites? Okay, probability would probably be the first math, uh, first math study area to focus on. Probability and statistics, but uh, primarily probability. So we will say probability and statistics. Another area related to probability is Boolean algebra. A critical area of use in quantum computer calculations is linear algebra, or it's also called matrix algebra. Linear algebra. And finally, uh, understanding complex numbers and imaginary numbers. Imaginary numbers and complex numbers are used in uh, important practical calculations for understanding the natural world. So we will say complex imaginary numbers. Okay, we've gone over the big question, why use quantum computers? It's primarily for computing power. What areas are we using quantum computers? Virology, cryptography, finance, climate science, and other areas in the future. And what are the math prerequisites? Probability, Boolean algebra, linear algebra, and complex and imaginary numbers. Thank you for listening.